Hi, my name is Dr. Charlene Fell, and this is a quick overview for people living with pulmonary fibrosis and their caregivers. I'll explain what pulmonary fibrosis is, describe what you can expect, and give you tips to manage the disease so you can live life as fully as possible. What is pulmonary fibrosis? Pulmonary fibrosis, or PF, is the common term used to describe a large family of diseases that cause inflammation and scarring in the lungs. The medical term is interstitial lung disease, or ILD. ILD is not a single disease, but rather refers to a group of more than 200 lung disorders that all have effects on the part of the lung called the interstitium. They are grouped into categories based on their underlying cause and each behave differently. You can see some different groupings here. Another group is idiopathic interstitial lung disease. The most common one of these is idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis or IPF. These are your lungs. The interstitium is the part of the lung that holds all the structures together. Think of it as the scaffolding of your lung. If we zoom in, we can see the airways. At the end of these airways are air sacs called alveoli. In healthy lungs, the oxygen that you breathe in goes into the air sacs, crosses the interstitium, and diffuses into your blood vessels to deliver oxygen to your body. Carbon dioxide, our waste gas, diffuses out of the blood into the alveoli and we breathe it out. Oxygen needs to cross the interstitium to get into the bloodstream. When you have interstitial lung disease or pulmonary fibrosis, there is usually inflammation and scarring of the interstitium. It becomes thickened and impairs the flow of oxygen into the body. And now we're going to talk a bit about some of the early symptoms of pulmonary fibrosis, which typically alert patients that something is not right with their lungs. Symptoms can start in many different ways. You may be someone who felt well until something happened, like a cough or a cold. Another scenario is you may have progressively got more and more short of breath. And some patients spend quite a long time working with their family doctor, a respirologist, or other specialists trying different puffers to figure out what is wrong with their breathing before they are diagnosed with pulmonary fibrosis. It's a different path for each individual, which is why pulmonary fibrosis is so difficult to diagnose. Now we'll talk about what you can expect with a pulmonary fibrosis diagnosis. This disease behaves differently for each individual and each type of pulmonary fibrosis. However, here is what you can typically expect. Pulmonary fibrosis is a chronic disease. Once the fibrosis scars the lung, that piece of the lung is permanently damaged. It is also really common to experience an emotional roller coaster through different phases of the disease. You may feel angry, stressed, depressed, and alone. Some of the common symptoms that may worsen over time include a cough, shortness of breath or breathlessness, fatigue, particularly as the disease gets worse, clubbing of fingers or toes is common but not universal, and weight loss. It may also be hard to discuss pulmonary fibrosis with your family and friends. This is because pulmonary fibrosis is really technical and hard to explain, and in the early stages, you may not even look sick. It may be more difficult to do things. You may need to stop working, need oxygen to breathe, and you may need help at home doing daily activities. There are things you can do to manage your pulmonary fibrosis and live more fully. Step number one, Learn as much as you can about your specific diagnosis and the underlying cause for your disease. Try to make sure your information is medically correct and up to date. Step number two, build your team. Your team is everyone who will support you along your journey with pulmonary fibrosis. Encourage a family member or a friend to join your medical appointments. 
They can be a second set of ears and help you with daily activities down the road. The other people on your team will be the medical professionals and your local pulmonary fibrosis support group. Get to know your family doctor, who will be your quarterback, and the other healthcare professionals who can help you. Remember, you are not alone. Reach out to others who are living with pulmonary fibrosis through a support group at cpff.ca. The third thing you can do, which is really important, is to commit to healthy life choices. Stop smoking, exercise regularly, prevent infections in any way you can, including vaccinations, maintain a healthy weight and eat a well-balanced diet. The fourth thing I would recommend is that you learn to manage your medications. Understand your medications, what they are called, why you're taking them, and when you're taking them. You can use a doset or blister pack to help keep track. Whatever your journey is, you have now received a diagnosis of pulmonary fibrosis and likely have many questions. The Canadian Pulmonary Fibrosis Foundation is an excellent organization dedicated to providing hope and support for people affected by pulmonary fibrosis. They offer access to the latest pulmonary fibrosis research, medical professionals' presentations, like this one, resources, local support groups, and a caring community of patients and caregivers. Learn more about pulmonary fibrosis at cpff.ca. Get the facts, stay connected, and get involved at cpff.ca.